Hi, this is Poppy from Hang Your Glass again, and we're really excited to unveil a new product line. This one is stainless steel backgrounds um, with the Hang Your Glass hardware affixed to the back of it. This is Helen Badrakt, and she's going to explain some of her kiln form designs on the new stainless steel backgrounds. I just wanted to give you a little description of uh, my background. I became a glass artist a little over five years ago. And uh, just recently, last year, I was commissioned to do a large um, array of glass art for a local company here. And I needed to find a way to mount my glass in a way that I felt secure in the way that it was hanging and that it didn't take away from the aesthetics of the piece of art. So I found Poppy at Hang Your Glass and I called her and we had um, a discussion about her hardware and determined that that was probably a good solution for what I was looking for. After I created those pieces, I decided to go and add more texture to some of my artwork and I felt that the hardware that Hang Your Glass offers would allow me to do that. This piece here that I created uh, gave me the option to give a lot of depth to the piece by raising the pieces up off of the stainless steel background. And you could raise them at different heights, it would give reflection to the glass and give you that depth. Um, the other piece here is a Kim Form butterfly piece that I created and the textured background adds a lot of interest to the piece and also gives it a lot of depth and reflection by bringing it off of that background. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take Helen's piece off the wall and we're gonna reverse engineer it and show you guys how we determined what lengths of standoffs to use and how we put them on. So now we have Helen's piece on the table here. Um, we used a combination of both hanger glass adhesive and hex doll. So first I'm going to pull this piece out. We've reintroduced our 5 8 inch diameter nesting standoffs, which is really cool. So that's what this flower was put on with. Um, as you can, you cannot see, but uh, this had to be hex stalled while the bracket was put on with the hang your glass adhesive because we had a flat surface area, not a flat surface area on the flower. Yeah, go ahead. On this piece, we had hex stalled the fish to the bird's beak. And then we also hex stalled the standoff to the base of the bird. We looked for a flat area, which we could have gotten one up here, but um, we had a little bit of a um, discussion. Yeah, I, I was a little concerned about applying the bracket to the lower part of the neck of the heron. Um, I originally thought maybe we should apply it to the top part of the heron because I was uh, concerned about torque issues or stress on the glass, but as Poppy reassured me, that is not an issue, and it ended up, it turned out to be uh, the right decision to put it at the bottom. Hey, thanks. The other good thing about putting that standoff at the bottom as well is we got it to tuck under the white, so literally you couldn't even see the standoff. Now, so the other thing that Helen did, and which is really important to know, is again, we used just a little 5 8 inch standoff. We could, again, use the hang your glass adhesive for the bracket, but we had to hex stall this little leaf. And the reason why is because when you just use frit, it's so porous um, that uh, the hang your glass adhesive is just too strong for it. Um, so you have to use hex stall with that. The other thing that you'll notice that hex stall does is it can eliminate fire polishing. So you can simply brush the hex stall on around here and get a nice glossy look on the glass. So the last piece we actually did use, great example, we did use the 360 diameter, um, we used the 360 degree standoff um, because we needed the length and this was another issue we got into um, and then we realized that we weren't going to be able to get the neck of the heron to slip under this piece so we needed the length of the 360 to make that work. So. Attaching this flower was super simple. Okay, basically all we had to do because it's going to be centered is attach our, our nesting bracket onto the stainless steel, slip in, slip in the standoff, 
and then actually do the hang your glass adhesive application on top of that and just rest it on top and it'll set in three to five minutes. Yeah, um, just to interject in that, when I first used hang your glass adhesive, I was a little concerned about using it, you know, just because it was a first time application. Um, I was nervous, but just to let everybody know there's nothing to be nervous about, it's really, really easy to use. Thanks. And then, if we were going to attach something that's odd shaped, to a piece of glass, we have a little hang your glass dash, which makes it a lot easier. And all we do is slip the bracket into where we want it to go. If it's not going to be centered, we do have to find um, some little props to prop it up on. Again, I'm gonna do my hang your glass adhesive application right on this standoff. And then I'm gonna place it exactly how I want it, turn it, it's gonna set in three to five minutes. Okay, so one last really cool thing you can do with these stainless steel sheets is um, you can use the specialty disc and you can create a brushed texture. So I'm gonna just do a quick demonstration. Use my water, use my specialty disc, move it around the metal. And as you can see now, I have a nice brushed texture. So this is Poppy and Helen showing off the new stainless steel backgrounds and all the different ways that you can display your glass on them.